Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to my channel. I have a lot I want to talk to you guys about. Um, I knew that if I didn't come on here and do a video really quickly today, I probably wouldn't get a chance to do one this weekend. There's a lot of stuff that I've been wanting to show you guys. Um, I got up this morning and then I procrastinated because I was playing with, with my dog Kai. Then I had to run out the door to get to a hair appointment and so my makeup is just a mishmash of stuff. I just kind of put some stuff on so I wouldn't look completely <laughs> awful today um, because I felt like the content and the stuff that I want to talk to you about is more important than the way that I look. So um, forgive me for that. Uh, let me just launch into it with you guys. So I've mentioned in a couple videos that there's a Louis Vuitton fragrance that I've discovered that I'm absolutely obsessed with. It's my signature fragrance. It's the only thing that I want to wear. Um, I tend to find Louis Vuitton fragrances too strong for me and they just don't work for me with my chemistry, but this one I'm, I'm obsessed with. So I ordered it online. It came in this box, which I love. I'm going to find an actual purpose for this box because I love the shape of it. And then it came with the tissue paper and then it came like this. So the fragrance was here and then a couple samples like that. I'm recreating it. Um, the samples that are sitting in here that I haven't used yet, uh, haven't even looked at is uh, oh, oh, Hassard. Oh, oh, Hassard. And there's two of them. So I got two of those. Um, and let me show you what I got. So I'll put this back here. So it came in like this. I tried to recreate it, but I didn't do a very good job. And then I really wanted the travel size of this. Um, of this beautiful fragrance, which is um, La Jour Salève. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I'll put it in the description bo box below. I'm gonna mispronounce a whole bunch of stuff today. Just about everything I'm showing you, I'm gonna mispronounce. But what it, it's a travel, um, travel option, it's the travel size. So you, uh, you get the travel container. It's got the Louis Vuitton uh, logo on the top. And then you get these travel size portions. And so what happens is uh, you unscrew this bottom part and then you put it inside and then you, you screw it back up and then you can spray it out the top. Uh, and I am obsessed with this fragrance. It's, I'm gonna put the notes in the description box below too because I'm really not good at identifying them and describing them appropriately. Um, but there's, to me, there's like something kind of woody underneath everything, like maybe an oud. There's like a floral scent. And then I also smell something brighter, like maybe like a citrus or something. But again, it's the only fragrance that I'm interested in wearing. It dries down beautifully. Um, there's nothing off-putting about it. And I'm just 100% obsessed. The next thing I wanted to talk to you about is, um, LV Lover CC, uh, one morning I got to work and she posted in her Insta stories that a friend of hers, another YouTuber, the Burnett Press, was having a vlog sale. So I popped on there. I had a few minutes at 6.30 in the morning while I was sitting at my work at my desk um, and I watched it and she was selling a number of items and I purchased this beautiful lavender Gucci shawl. So I don't even know what the regular price of this shawl was. Um, so I... I um, emailed her and I told her I was interested and she said it's $200 and she said you want to see other pictures I said sure so then she sent me a series of like four or five videos of a lab like very detailed videos she, 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 she took the shawl she spread it out on the bed showed me every square inch of it and um, so I could see the quality and I could see the pattern on it she sent a car um, a letter as well she said Wendy thank you so much for buying the Gucci shawl. I hope you love it. Please let me know when you receive it so I know it made it to you okay. Thanks, Jen, aka the Burnett Press. Um, and she sent it FedEx on like a Friday, and so I got the notification it would be right arriving on the Wednesday. I got a notification saying it was going to come earlier, and then I got another notification saying it was going to come even earlier than that, and it arrived on the Monday, like midday. I mean, when does that happen, that things show up earlier? But it is absolutely stunning and the the transaction with her was absolutely seamless and she she was fantastic i mean that there's no flaws to this beautiful shawl whatsoever it's absolutely gorgeous i'm not going to open up the whole thing for you guys but i have one other gucci shawl that i absolutely love in like grays and i think this one is is just beautiful 
I am not into pink at all anymore. I just do not like to wear pink at all anymore. I just organized my closet and I have everything sort of color coded and the pink section is like really small. I've got like half a dozen blouses and, and sweaters, but I absolutely think this lavender color is gorgeous. And it's really going to go with like the color palette that I'm wearing these days, which is like blues and grays and um, blacks and that sort of thing, which brings me to what I wanted to show you next, which are a couple sweaters that I purchased in the color scheme that I really love. Uh, and I looked, it's hard to find sweaters. I don't know why, but I found this one by Banana Republic that I think is just gorgeous and it's the perfect color. And did I even get this on sale? I'm not sure. This is a size small and it is, it was $89.50 and I just purchased it off the website. I have a couple other Banana Republic sweaters and I just love the weight of it and I love this blue color. Love it. Um, again, I'm just kind of liking these tones, these colors. And then again, going with that blue that I'm obsessed with. I got this from Nordstrom yesterday. I don't know who this, what this brand is. It's like Sam. Sam so I don't know it's a brand new brand for me but I love the color and this one was this one was 70 actually I don't know that it has it listed US dollars $55 and then this one I got in a size medium I believe um, but I love the color and I love the shape and this is just something you could wear with like dress pants at work whatever and then I love this uh, gray sweater that I picked up yesterday as well from Nordstrom by Rails, from Rails, by Rails. And it's a small, and I think it's really fun. Oh, I meant to show you another sweater that I bought too from, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, anyways, just moving along here because again, I, there's just so many things that I wanted to show you guys. And um I just want to get outside. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I've been sitting, I think I worked 10 days straight and I've had a lot of really long hours and some night meetings and stuff. And I just am desperate to get outside and go for a long walk today. So, um, story time about my wallets, the Victorine by the pool that I showed you guys on my channel. Um, I went to a doctor's appointment with my husband one day and I was sitting there in the car waiting for him. And I pulled the wallet out of my bag and I started taking a really good look at it. All of the like, it's not white, it wasn't white, but it was kind of like a gray white glazing all the way around the edges. I started looking at it and I started snapping pictures of it and I was putting it on my Instagram. I'm like, you guys, look at this. And everyone was DMing me back saying, that's awful, that's horrific. You gotta take that wallet back. Like the damage to it was extensive in a very short period of time and uh, the glazing was all just completely falling apart like it was literally like picking off so um I went back to the mall by myself dropped my husband off and I went back to my back to the mall and uh Louis Vuitton gave me a little bit of grief but it's interesting because all these um actual sales associates that are that follow me on Instagram they were dming me and they're like Wendy no don't take no for an answer that wallet there's something wrong with it it's defective just get your um just get your money back and they were kind of walking me through kind of guiding me through that process which was very generous of them thank you very much so they did uh return the they returned the full amount to me they deemed the wallet defective and i've kind of resolved to be very careful with uh louis vuitton small leather goods going forward um, so then I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll use my Chanel. I had a long Chanel flap wallet, uh, but when I put my cards in it and tried to fit it in my bags, I realized it, it had just been sitting in my, in my closet for a couple years. And I just realized that it was too big for my lifestyle now. I knew, you know, I, I know I said that I would never let that wallet go, but I just realized it was too big. So on a Sunday morning, I got up and I, um, cause I wanted to buy the compact Chanel wallet in its place. So Sunday morning, I took a bunch of pictures of it, pulled out the box, pulled out the original bag, the ribbon, everything, posted on Instagram, and I'd say within a half an hour, it sold. And what was even better is that I, um, a beautiful, wonderful woman who lives close to me up in Yorba Linda, she purchased it and she was willing to meet me at South Coast Plaza and I didn't even have to pay shipping. She met me there before the mall opened. I was standing in line at Chanel 
she showed up looking wonderful and was sweet and she had her adorable son there with her so it was wonderful to be able to meet her and her son and uh, and you know just share some stories while I was standing in line and then I got, went into Chanel and they were completely sold out of everything that I wanted and so I was a little bit disappointed and then I popped over to YSL to Saint Laurent and I found the perfect wallet for me <laughs> so it came in this bag I kept the bag just to show you guys I don't even know if there's anything in here no so yes there is so here's my I should actually tell you guys what the price is too um here's the wallet <laughs> I'm using it right now and it's perfect so let me find out what this thing is and how much it was it was $475. I don't know the name, but I will try to figure that out when I um, upload this later on today. But it was $475. So that was good. <laughs> that was really good. And it's fantastic. So I'm using this wallet, so it's not like it's an unboxing. Uh, $475. It's like, uh, this is what I wanted. Black, kind of like caviar leather. I know that's not what they call this leather, but durable pebbled leather with silver toned hardware. Everything I'm buying right now seems to be in silver toned hardware. It still even has the protective plastic on the zipper pull. Um, so it's got a uh, compartment here for like your coins and stuff like that. I always end up putting, you know, like my cards for the grocery store and drugstore and stuff. And then let me just shove all of my credit cards down here. Um, and then it has, I don't know how to show you guys this, because I'm actually using this wallet right now, but it has four compartments here and then four compartments on this side. It's got two slip pockets right here, and then it's got a place for bills right there. Um, it's got like silver uh, embossing right there. It says Saint Laurent Paris, and it's a fantastic, fantastic wallet, especially for the price. It is stiff. Like if you just, you can't go get your nails done and then, you know, grab your cash out or whatever, but uh, it's very stiff, but I don't have a problem with that. Um, I just think it's a fantastic wallet, like especially for the price. I just think it's fantastic. Like, yeah, and the, it's got like a very good snap. Like it's very, your stuff is very secure. It's not going to accidentally open up. Um, there's nothing on the back here, which is fine. It's got this Chevron pattern. And again, it's got this little silver tab and then card slots here. I know I'm being like extra protective, but it's got uh, four credit card slots, four credit card slots. It's the same uh, format as the Victory and it's very similar. It's got like a very satisfying snap to it. Um, so fantastic, I love this wallet. I've been using it nonstop. Uh, this is the bag that I'm using right now, my Valentino black tote. And it came with ribbon. Okay, I got an unboxing and a couple things I want to talk to you about and then we'll call it a day. So I am not a skincare professional, obviously you can tell. <laughs> I got this little sample when I purchased some Lancome from Nordstrom. It says Genifique U Light Pearl um, Eye and Lash Concentrate. It says advanced. Um, and I'm about to make a claim that I have absolutely absolutely zero proof of, zero proof for. Uh, but I started just, so what it is, is it's got this like, this like pearl thing on here. So you, 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 what I do is I wash my face at the end of the day, take all my makeup off. I use toner and then I use the serum for Lancome and then I take this and I use it around my eyes. This is my crazy claim. You guys know that I got my eyes, eyebrows microbladed and then I had tattoo saline tattoo removal because I hated my eyebrows. And then um, it, it worked really well. I've got a couple of videos on it. it those videos are by far the most, uh, the videos that I get the most comments on and people will DM me because they're desperate, you know, did it work? Like what, you know, what's your feedback? Like people just want to get rid of their microbladed eyebrows, many of them. And then people are like, what fades them? Again, I have no proof of this, but I think this is fading them. <laughs> I think that whatever residual I have 
has left, this is lifting it. And again, I have no proof of that whatsoever. But that is my anecdotal evidence. That's my anecdotal feedback. Um, so anyways, this is definitely a favorite. It's working for me. Um, I'm probably going to end this video because I have a little tiny unboxing that I want to show you guys, but I kind of feel like it sort of deserves its own video and it relates to my beautiful pochette Matisse that I got in the maker color in this pearlized navy blue color. So I'm going to stop all of that <laughs> and I'm going to... I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to come back in a couple minutes and I'm going to film this little unboxing um, and then I'm going to load these both of these videos up a little later on today because this is already at 16 minutes and this one deserves its own video. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys all that. It's all kind of been sitting there <laughs> waiting for me to talk about and um, I'll see you guys soon, okay? I'm gonna upload both of these later on today. I really just wanna get outside and enjoy the beautiful day. Get, move my body. I'm just feeling like I need to move my body. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes, okay? <laughs> see you later. <laughs>